These are tonight's top stories. Minister Hamilton says budget estimate meetings are of paramount importance. Police force investigating two reports of rape and the Sugar Mass 45 slogan selected. The details on these stories and more when we come back. Hello and welcome to the ZIZ Channel 5 Evening Newscast. I am Shaira Flanders. The Honorable Eugene Hamilton, Minister of Agriculture et al., described the three-day estimates meetings that were held from Wednesday, October 12th to Friday, October 14th as informative and of paramount importance for all government ministries and departments as well as the country on a whole. Minister Hamilton explained that the meetings began before the planned three days as each ministry was required to look at its vision and mission for the next couple of years in order to design programs for implementing its vision. He said that such a task will result in meetings among all of the members of various sectors of the ministries. There needs to be that level of discussion about the way things are, where they ought to be, and how you're going to get there. And so that kind of planning has been undertaken in, in all of the ministries as far as I'm aware. And we are at the point now where we are inviting the Ministry of Finance in particular to examine the program that we're putting forward and to determine within the resources that we have how much we can do or how much more we need to do to be able to arrive at uh, the targets that we set ourselves. He noted that the discussions over the past days were an opportunity for him as the Minister of Agriculture et al. to get to understand and appreciate what is happening in other ministries. We understand and we know that we're coming from a place where we were highly indebted and so we are prudent in what we uh, eventually agree upon. While at the same time, understanding that we must not, to use local language, blow our budget. We must have a balanced budget. And we're working towards a balanced budget, and that is what we hope to be able to achieve by the time we come to the budget session in December. Minister Hamilton also spoke to an important aspect of the country's infrastructure with respect to health care. Of course, you know, one of the challenges is the important demands on the social services of our country. Over the last five or six years, the demands on, say, our unit at the hospital for hemodialysis has been tenfold. Whereas there used to be three or four people affected by kidney failures or kidney challenges, we now have 50 or more. And if one has to pursue um, paying the for the services of hemodialysis in particular, you are speaking about $800 per treatment, three times per week, more than $120,000 a year. He said that it is within that context that the budget should be considered. He also made mention of the benefits of universal health coverage in the Federation, explaining that although the government provides health coverage, there is still a gap that needs to be filled. Minister Hamilton said that through this budget preparation, he is moving towards getting initiatives implemented in 2017 that will hopefully bridge that gap. The Royal St. Christopher and Nevis Police Force, in particular the Special Victims Unit, is investigating two reports of rape in the Federation. According to reports, both incidents occurred on Thursday, October 13th. Investigations also revealed that one incident took place in the Newton Ground area at night, while another account of rape was reported in the Wade's Garden area in the early evening. According to reports, both individuals were female victims. The police are urging residents to be alert and are asking persons in the community to report any suspicious or criminal activity they may be aware of. Details on the incident remain sketchy. Further details remain undisclosed to protect the identity of the victims. However, the police say the matter is under investigation. Persons who may have information on these incidents are asked to call the Special Victims Unit at 465-2241, any other police station, or Crime Stoppers, the anonymous hotline, at 1-800-8477. 
And in other police-related news, the Royal St. Christopher and Nevis Police Force is investigating a report of robbery that occurred in Sadler's Village. Reports indicate that the incident occurred on October 8th. Further reports also revealed that at about 12.15 a.m., the virtual complainant parked his passenger bus when an assailant approached him. Investigations revealed that the complainant was then robbed by the unknown assailant. Further investigations reveal that one gold chain was taken along with an undisclosed sum of money. During the incident, the assailant reportedly used a gun to strike the victim in the head. The virtual complainant sustained a wound to the head. He was then transported to the Poxon Hospital in Sandy Point where he was treated for his injury. Investigations on this matter are ongoing. Meanwhile, the police force is also investigating an incident of wounding with intent on Herbert Street, Newtown. Reports indicate that the incident occurred at about 2.40 a.m. on Thursday. Reports also indicate that an assailant was caught breaking into the virtual complainant's home. The victim sustained a gunshot wound to his shoulder after challenging the assailant who then fled the scene. The victim was transported to the Joseph N. France General Hospital where he was treated for his injury. The investigation continues. After the break, Financial Secretary says SKN's economy projected to see steady growth for next two years and the Sugar Mass 45 slogan winner officially announced. We'll tell you more when we come back. The economy of the Federation of St. Kitts and Nevis continues to see positive strides. That is according to Financial Secretary Hilary Hazel, who made the statement during an interview with the St. Kitts and Nevis Information Service or SKNIS on Friday. The interview came on the heels of the budget estimates meetings with the Ministry of Finance, along with cabinet ministers, various departments and ministries in government over a span of three days. She explained that the aim at present is to have a balanced budget, which means revenues are equal to expenditures. Because we do not want to enter into entertaining the idea of a deficit budget. Um, we have maintained very strong commit a strong commitment to fiscal prudence and good financial management those are the hallmarks that are saliently running throughout the discussions and uh, helping us to prioritize what are the needs and what are the critical things that we must invest money in hazel then gave a breakdown of the projected growth for st kitts and nevis for 2016, we expect to have a growth rate of around 3%, and uh, that would grow a little further in 2017 to about 3.8%. 2018, a growth rate of 3.9%. So in 2017, we're expecting to see a um, small increase in terms of the growth rate. The growth we're expecting to see a pickup in construction, in tourism, and also real estate and uh, the transport, storage, and communication sector. The financial secretary noted that the overall revenue for government, tax revenue, and the non tax altogether would amount to about EC 700 million whereas in 2016 it was estimated to be around EC 694 million. We are programming expenditures in the region of, for the recurrent, um, we are expecting expenditures in the region of 530 million thereabouts and overall about 592 million. Of course, if we are able to realize this, um, expenditure as well as the revenue intake, we will definitely be able to return a surplus. That was Financial Secretary Hillary Hazel. A press release issued by the St. Kitts Nevis National Carnival Committee states that the slogan for this year's National Carnival Celebrations, or Sugar Mass 45, has officially been selected. The St. Kitts Nevis National Carnival Committee chose the winner of the slogan competition during a recent slogan selection review held at the Carnival's Secretariat on Victoria Road. The release also reports that the Sugar Mass 45 slogan winner is Romaine Belrobe, who submitted the slogan, Feel the Rhythm, 
Positive vibes for Sugar Mass 45. Belgrove will receive two complimentary tickets per show at a value of EC $500. According to the release, the St. Kitts Nevis National Carnival Committee received over 17 potential slogans from persons across the Federation. The judging panelists consisted of members of the SKNNCC, which includes marketing chair Jonel Rollins, O. Grenville Brown, who is the Soka chairperson, Mr. Noah Mills, who is the chairman of the Carnival Committee, and Marissa Hobson Newman, who is the deputy chairperson. Also on the panel were independent judges Kevin Welch, Derek Freight, and Joycelyn Matthew Martin. The winning slogan, Feel the Rhythm, Positive Vibes for Sugar Mass 45, will be used all throughout the 2016-2017 Carnival season. Coming up, Haiti prepares for elections in November despite Hurricane Matthew aftermath. Stay tuned. Can you afford to lose everything? In times of uncertainty, ensure you have the security of Quartz Payment Protection. When you shop with Quartz Ready Finance Gold or Ultimate Plan, if you lose your job after six months of making payments, our redundancy coverage ensures that the payment on your account continues for up to 12 months. Don't risk losing everything. Shop with Quartz Ready Finance and get the payment protection plan that protects you against redundancy, disability, death, and loss of item due to natural disaster fire, flood, or theft. Courts Ready Finance with Payment Protection. Courts, bringing value home. Haiti will hold its long-delayed presidential and parliamentary elections on November 20th, 2016, electoral officials have announced the first round in both elections, due to be held due last week, was postponed because of Hurricane Matthew, which has killed about 900 people. The country has been in political limbo since the polls in 2015 were scrapped because of reported violence and fraud. The new election date was announced by Leopold Berlanga, who heads Haiti's Provisional Electoral Council. Last year's presidential elections in Haiti were cancelled after the first round in October due to opposition protests over alleged fraud, a claim later confirmed by electoral officials. Coming up, some Republican women say sexual assault allegations against Trump will not affect their vote for the candidate. We'll have the details when we come back. The knowledgeable, professional, and friendly staff of NCI helped me find the solutions to secure my fleet of vehicles and most importantly, my family. Let National make you and your family safe and secure. What I really liked were the options that I was given and the knowledge behind the choices and knowing that I still have the ability to choose and make my own choice and not feel pressured into selecting a different plan. National Caribbean Insurance is fully committed to providing excellent customer service and a diverse range of insurance products and services. Come and experience insurance the NCI way. We serve, we protect, we satisfy. That's NCI. Somebody pass me a carrot.
Apple has upgraded all of its Mega Wave customers to its new lightning fast internet service. Our 2 megabits package has now been upgraded to our 6 megabits flash package and still just $113.49 per month. Our 4 megabits package is now our 12 megabits bolt package. And our 7 megabits package is now our 21 megabits strike package. All for the same low rate. Enjoy download speeds up to 55 megabits with our new star package for only $384.93 per month. It's undeniably faster, extremely affordable, most reliable, lightning fast internet service. How fast is your internet? The cable's lightning fast. Building Center on St. Kitts and Nevis, the Federation's favorite home improvement store, has hundreds of red tag items store wide for up to 30% off. Including 20 inch box fan was 165.18, now just 137.65. Round point shovel was 69.15, now just 57.62. All purpose flour and vegetable plant food was 23.98, now 19.98. 32 gallon trash can was 146.35, now just 121.96. Two in one adjustable stubby wrench was 34.75, now 28.97. Premium solar spotlight was 136.02, now 113.35. 18-volt cordless drill driver kit was 513.03, now 427.42. 21-inch gas push mower was 1038.96, now 865.80. 48-quart ice cooler was 219.39, now just 175.52. Red Tag clearance sale to 30% off. For the red and remember, discounts forever. So on all other items store-wide, you get a minimum of 15% discount. Portsmouth Building Center, the Federation's favorite home improvement store. The seventh annual Latin Fiesta. Sunday, October 23rd. The place to be is Port Sante for the Cuban edition. Featuring Ana Caona. Batukela. And Ola Tunji. General admission, $30 easy dollars in advance and $40 at the gate. Tickets are available for purchase at Controla Cristada, Avalon Lab, and Mojitos Bar. Sponsored by Controla Cristada Limited, Carrie Breweries, Sinkets and Nevis Limited, Sinkets Marriott Beach Resort and Casino, UPS and Hobson Enterprises, Carib Commerce, Sinkets Tourism Authority, Royal Sinkets Hotel, Embassy of Cuba, Sinkets and Nevis Visitor Channel Limited and Caribbean Cinemas. Sexual assault allegations against U.S. presidential candidate Donald Trump have not affected the enthusiasm of some female Republican supporters. Al Jazeera's Kimberly Hackett, who is reporting from Spartanburg, South Carolina, boarded a bus of female Republicans who say women should not vote for Hillary Clinton simply because of her gender. <laughs> We have been to 39 states. We've had a ball. For more than five months, Carrie Almond has traveled in this painted bus with her dog, named after President Reagan, to 39 U.S. states to reach the 23 million women she says have still not registered to vote. This is the key to the White House. We have been traveling with this key for 158 days, and we are not going to give it to Hillary Clinton. She's logged 42,000 kilometers, explaining to women why the Democratic presidential nominee should not be the first female president of the United States. We all would like to see a woman in the White House. We just want the right woman in the White House. Clinton holds a wide lead over Republican Donald Trump in the polls, in part because of women who make up the majority of voters in the United States. But as the Republican women's bus made a stop in South Carolina, most said the release of that 2005 video revealing Trump may have groped women in the past has not made them reconsider their vote. People change in and especially with 11 years ago, people can change. And, you know, I think that if Donald is elected, then he will start 
you know, like acting more like a president. Some of the things Donald Trump has said are, are, are concerning and upsetting. And yes, they do make me feel uncomfortable, but I am not a saint. This election is about more than just gender. The Clinton campaign is heralding the historic nature of Clinton's candidacy. But these women say selecting a president solely because of gender is sexist. And despite polls showing Clinton's poised to break the proverbial glass ceiling in November, these women say she'll have to do it without their vote. Hillary Clinton doesn't speak for us. Kimberly Helkett, Al Jazeera, Spartanburg, South Carolina. Up next in sports, baseball announcer holds silent protest against native named teams and Jamaica prepares to bid farewell as Bolt sets date for his final local race. Stay tuned. Usain Bolt has set the date. His last race in Jamaica will take place next June at the Racers Grand Prix in what will be his final strides towards retirement. Usain Bolt's all-conquering career will come to an end after next year's World Championships in London. And with the nine-time Olympic champion and triple world record holder already securing his spot by virtue of his defending champion wildcard, according to the media house The Jamaica Gleaner, there are no plans or requirements to compete at the 2017 National Senior Championships. The Racers Grand Prix will be my last race in Jamaica. People, it will be the last time I run in Jamaica, Bolt declared, while confirming that he will walk away into the sunset after the World Championships, which is set for August 5th to the 13th, inside the Olympic Stadium. Yes, I am definitely going to retire after the World Championships in London. That will be my last one, the sprint champion stated. The Racers Track Club, of which Bolt is a member, this year staged its first international track meet, the Racers Grand Prix, on June 11th, to overwhelming claim with Bolt winning the men's 100 meters in 9.88 seconds. The IAAF provides wildcard entries to defending world champions and the diamond race winners of each event. The JAAA has established through reference that world champions will get the nod in cases where both are Jamaicans, which means that the Bolt is not required to compete at the qualifier next year national senior championships bolt and other members of the jamaica olympic team will be honored this weekend by the jamaica government after receiving a letter from someone of native descent blue jays longtime play-by-play -play announcer jerry haworth is refusing to state the name of cleveland's ball club as a form of protest here's more as the Toronto Blue Jays and Cleveland Indians open the 2016 American League Championship Series, a radio announcer will carry on a silent protest. The Blue Jays' longtime play-by-play -play announcer Jerry Howarth has withheld stating the name of Cleveland's ball club since 1992 when he received a letter from someone of native descent. The Canadian broadcaster made the decision to withhold stating names with native influence before the playoffs that featured the Atlanta Braves. Howarth said in a recent interview that a member of Canada's First Nations wrote him a letter decades ago describing the insulting nature of Atlanta's ball club, including their tomahawk chant and gesture and referrals to powwows on the mount. Sympathetically, Howarth chose to refrain from stating Indian or brave for the rest of his career. When we come back, we'll have another look at the stories that made the headlines. Can you afford to lose everything? In times of uncertainty, ensure you have the security of Quartz Payment Protection. When you shop with Quartz Ready Finance Gold or Ultimate Plan, if you lose your job after six months of making payments, our redundancy coverage ensures that the payment on your account continues for up to 12 months. Don't risk losing everything. Shop with Quartz Ready Finance and get the payment protection plan that protects you against redundancy, disability, death, and loss of item due to natural disaster disaster, fire, flood, or theft. Courts Ready Finance with Payment Protection. Courts Bringing Value Home. Recapping tonight's top stories, Minister Hamilton says budget estimate meetings are of paramount importance, police force investigating two reports of rape, and a Sugar Mass 45 slogan selected. And that's the end of the ZIZ Channel 5 newscast. 
Thank you for joining us. I am Shaira Flanders. Have a good one.